Miss Nader. Yes, Marshal. Next time you're in Dodge, uh, come see me, huh? I'll get you some seed to plant. <laughs> That whistling man, Bobby Haggard, really started something. Tonight, the Calypso boys join in. Ready, amigos? Pack more pleasure. Pack more pleasure. Chesterfield packs more pleasure. Because Chesterfield's more perfectly packed. It stands to reason a cigarette made better and packed better, smokes better, tastes better. And Chesterfield is more perfectly packed by Accuray. This electronic miracle removes human error in cigarette manufacture. So Accuray Chesterfield is firm, pleasing to the lips, mild, yet deeply satisfying. Yes, Chesterfield gives you something no other cigarette can give you. Chesterfield packs more pleasure because Chesterfield is more perfectly packed. To the touch, to the taste. Chesterfield packs more pleasure because it's more perfectly packed by Chesterfield. Mine, yet they satisfy the most. <laughs> Goodness, Mr. Jones, I thought we would never make gods tonight. That's a baby, Chester. Well, it's asleep, anyway. I guess I've been holding it right, huh? Well, just like a mother. Oh, I am not. <laughs> oh, there's Doc waiting for us. Mother! Huh. You just sit tight a minute, Chester. We'll help you with the baby. I hope it don't wake up. There ain't anything. Ed Thorpe and his wife. Glad Doc, or Doc Miss Thorpe's lying down in the wagon back there. We uh, covered her up good. She's been asleep most of the way. Mrs. Thorpe. She's still asleep. Give me a hand up, Matt. Yeah. Oh, Mrs. Thorpe? She knew she was going to die. Why? Just before we left her place, she told me that if anything happened to her, the baby was to be put in Moss Molly's care. And Moss Molly was to have complete charge over him. Now, well, what she says goes. Ma's a widow. She's had kids herself. That was a good choice. Yeah. But she's too old to raise them herself, man. Well, we'll worry about that later, Doc. Let's get busy. <laughs> You've been, Miss Nadler. Pretty good, Marshal. Marshal, Mrs. Nadler wants to adopt the Thorpe baby. Uh huh. Well, Miss Thorpe left the baby in your charge, Ma. It's all up to you. I've had him over a week, Marshal, and I'm going to keep him a while longer so he'll be near Doc just in case. But Mrs. Nadler here seems like a mighty fine woman to me. And I'd, I'd let her take that baby, only I'm worried about one thing. I, I told her, Marshal, and truth, and she's afraid maybe Joe and I can't make a go of it out there. You remember what you said when you was leaving that day? I said to come see me. I'd help you get some seed to plant. Well, now, that's all I need. I, I get a little corn up there. I'm, I might even raise a few hogs. I work awful hard, Marshal. I promise I will. She gets started. She can have the baby, Marshal. 
Uh, Miss Nadler, why don't you come by my office before you leave town? I'm going to the store here and have a talk with Mr. Jonas. Marshal, I do thank you. Come on back to the house, Mr. All right. What can I sell you today? Well, I came by to see you about Miss Nadler. You, you know her, don't you? Yeah, of course I do. Joe Nadler's out back in the stock room right now. Oh, he is? Yeah. Hey, Nadler, come in here a minute. He's buying himself a new pair of boots, Marshal. Uh, I thought they're credited right now. Well, Nadler's doing better now. He started bringing meat into Delmonico's and a couple other eating places. I paid up part of his bill already, ain't you, Nadler? I don't know as I like you talking about my private affairs, Jonas. Oh, no harm. It's only me. Still Come on, Nadler. Those are good-looking boots. They ought to be. Them's the best I saw. Them's $20 boots. $20. I'd buy a whole wagon load of seed, Nadler. You telling me how to spend my money? Does your wife know you've been doing better with me? Family matters ain't no concern of the law. Yours, sir. If it wasn't for your wife, I wouldn't bother just warning you. Because of her telling you to take off those boots and buy some seed and whatever else you need to grow corn with. Now you look here, Marshal. Shut up! I'm giving you a chance, Nadler, and three days from now I'm riding out to see what you've done with it. It's up to you whether or not you'll be riding back with me. <laughs> We can wait another day, Chester. You know what? I don't think you want to go at all. Yeah, you're right, I don't. Hello, Marshal. Flowers. Yes, sir. Uh, I was just up at Delmonico's, Marshal, having myself a feed. Oh, good. How was it? Fine, till I went out back and got a talking with the cook. Oh? Marshal, I reckon any man's got a right to complain when he goes to a restaurant and finds himself eating his own beef. I know about that, Bowers. You do? Then why ain't you done nothing about it? Oh, because of Ms. Nadler, I guess. Look, Marshal, I'm a rich man. I don't mind a nester slaughtering one of my calves when he's starving. And nobody's going to start selling my beef. I'll kill him. He keeps that up. All right, I'll handle it, Bowers. I admire that woman, too, Marshal, but letting him get by with rustling ain't going to help her. By the way, Ma Smalley brought some pies down in the kitchen over uh, there. I'm waiting outside here. She might walk. Right Hello, Ma. Are you riding out to me? Here's Marshall. I am. Then you tell her I'm sorry. Tell her I think she's a good woman, but I can't let that baby go into the home of a cow thief. Son, I got a trust put in me. Say, where are you listening to Gunsmoke? In your car? Getting ready for dinner? Oh, I see. Just relaxing in your favorite easy chair. Well, I'd say you're in a good spot right now to really enjoy a Chesterfield. You see, Chesterfield packs more pleasure because it's more perfectly packed. It stands to reason. A cigarette made better and packed better smokes better, tastes better. And Chesterfield is more perfectly packed by AccuRay. This electronic miracle removes human error in cigarette manufacture. So Accuray Chesterfield is firm, pleasing to the lips, mild, yet deeply satisfying. Yes, Chesterfield gives you something no other cigarette can give you. Chesterfield packs more pleasure because Chesterfield's more perfectly packed. To the touch, to the taste, Chesterfield packs more pleasure 
because it's more perfectly packed. Buy Chesterfield. Mine. Yet they satisfy the most. Chester. Hi, ma'am. What brings you out here, Marshal? Uh, is your husband home? No, he's been gone since morning. Oh. Uh, Miss Nadler, do you know that he's been slaughtering Emmett Bowers' beef? Oh. Mr. Bowers complained about it. About that calf? Oh, it's more than that one calf, Miss Nadler. He's been selling meat around Dodge lately. So that's what he had in the wagon. I know you had nothing to do with it, Miss Nadler, but uh, I hate to tell you this, but Ma Smalley isn't going to let you have the baby. Well, she's she's right, Marshal. It wouldn't be fit. Mr. Dillon, look. Huh? Holding on. Simmet Bars. I'll be back, Miss Nadler. I'm going to go talk to him. Your mother, too, must be riders, you guess. Huh? Yeah. 